ThingLink is a perfect tool for creating digital breakout clue rooms, and its basic version is free. Get started, find and download a high quality image that will serve as your background or room. Then head over to ThingLink.com. I created an account using the option to sign in with my Google account, but you can sign up using a variety of methods, and I am using the free version as shown here. Click Create to get started and then upload your image. And ideally, you should have your clue artifacts that you want to add to your room already created. First, I'm going to add a link to a Morse code translator. To add an item, just double click where you want it to be. Notice that I am on the Custom tab, which offers some different content creation options than the Text tab. And you can go back and forth between the two. First, I will add a link to the Morse code translator. Let me Google that website up really quickly and copy its address. I paste the link in, and then I get a nice preview of what my clue is going to look like. And I can adjust the text description as needed. If I want to change the layout of the picture and the text, I can do that right here. And in this preview over here, if users click the Read More button, it will take them to the website. But I can also adjust the button title to improve the messaging. I'm also going to need to change this default image. Previously, I did a Google image search and saved a picture of Morse code that's going to fit a lot better with my clue than this guy. Use the Change Image button to adjust the image that will display next to your clue. This is much better but I do notice that my graphic is cut off, so I can try some of these other layout options to find something I like better. Large image seems to work, but notice that I have lost that button that links users to the website. For me, that's okay, since clicking on this Morse code graphic is also going to just link them right to the website. There are some additional styling options below, but to me, my clue looks just fine, so I'm going to click Save. This black and white circle is the default icon that lets users know something is linked or tagged here. But if you click back on an item to edit it, you can choose from a variety of other free icons, and users with the paid version can upload custom icons. Now let's look at integrating a clue that perhaps you've created with Google Slides. Here's essentially a digital poster that I created with slides for my breakout. Hidden inside the picture of Galileo's actual finger is a key that links users to the next clue. As with all things Google, make sure you've shared the item so anyone with the link can view it, and then copy the link. Take that into ThingLink, create a new pen, and paste in your link. ThingLink will auto-recognize this as a Google Drive item, embed a small version of it with a pop-out option to view it full screen. Periodically, you'll want to save your ThingLink, and this also gives you a nice chance to preview what your room and clues are looking like. When you're done, just use the pencil to return to editing mode. If you want to add, say, a PDF document, you just need to upload that to your Google Drive, share it, and get its link. Like our other items, you're just gonna paste that link into ThingLink, Adjust any auto formatting that you don't like and save your changes. In addition to text and visual clues, you can add audio and video clues. Add an audio clue using MP3 files and this upload audio button. There are a variety of web tools out there that will let you record your voice as an MP3 file, or you can upload any MP3 file that you already have that you want to become a clue. Since this is a music clue, I will definitely change the icon image to give a hint as to that. And notice the player ThingLink builds so users can click and listen to the audio right here. And finally, YouTube videos add beautifully into ThingLink. Just copy the link at the top of the video's viewing page and add the link to a new tag. ThingLink makes it super easy to craft digital breakout rooms. When you're done, you just need to save your image. Use the share icon to get the full screen link or the embed code for your room. You can use the full screen link to link your room to a web page or a discussion, or you can use that embed code to embed it right inside Schoology on a page, which I'm going to show. 
From previous experience, I know that the iframe code works best in Schoology, so I'll check that box. And I'm going to reduce the size a bit since 900 seems to be a better fit for most screens. Click copy to copy the provided embed code and head over to wherever you want to embed the item. In my case, that's Schoology. I'll create a page, toggle to the HTML editor, and paste in my code. Save your changes and participants can now interact with your clue room within Schoology or wherever you have elected to embed your interactive room.